some butt. Join us as we delve into the untold chronicles of the Rowdy Rough Boys. We're the Rowdy Rough Boys and we want to fight. Where secrets unfold and revelations shock, challenging everything you thought you knew about these infamous rivals of the Powerpuff Girls. Thus, the Powerpuff Girls were born. In this deep dive, we'll unravel the enigmatic story of the Rowdy Rough Boys, from their creation to their notorious clashes with the Powerpuff Girls. I know you are, but what am I? Enough! Talk is cheap! Let's do this! We'll explore the layers behind their rebellious facade, shedding light on their motivations, transformations, and the pivotal moments that have made them a fascinating subject of both animation and controversy. Join us as we peel back the layers of their story. We're the Rowdy Rough Boys, toots! We were fighting the Powerpuff Girls and decided to take a break. Revealing secrets and surprises that will leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about these iconic characters. Stay with us until the end as we reveal exclusive insights and untold anecdotes that not only illuminate the Rowdy Rough Boys' complex legacy, but also offer a fresh perspective on their role in the larger narrative, making you see the world of our beloved childhood heroes in an entirely new light. Now! And make sure you steal it! Can you believe he's our brother? In the bustling city of Townsville, where every day is an adventure, there's a trio of troublemakers stirring up chaos. The Rowdy Rough Boys. The Rowdy Rough Boys? But that's impossible! Created by the sneaky Mojo Jojo, these guys, Brick, Boomer, and Butch, are like the Powerpuff Girls' naughty counterparts. Boomer! Brick, Butch, we're here to kick them. But here's where it gets juicy. While the Powerpuff Girls are all about sweetness and saving the day, the Rowdy Rough Boys are all about causing mayhem and mischief. So once again, the day is saved, thanks to the Powerpuff Girls. So when these two groups clash, you better believe it's an epic showdown between good and bad. In Townsville's whirlwind of excitement, these characters bring non-stop action and thrills. And as we follow their wild escapades, we get a front row seat to the thrilling battle between heroes and villains. It's a roller coaster of twists, turns, and surprises where anything can happen. Oh no! Look who's back with mean hair! The Rowdy Rough Boys, Episode 23, Season 1. In the episode, The Rowdy Rough Boys, the sun shone bright over Townsville as Mojo Jojo plotted his next move. This was the debut appearance of the Rowdy Rough Boys, created by Mojo Jojo, with a devious plan to defeat the Powerpuff Girls. With mischief on his mind and evil schemes brewing, Mojo Jojo's next steps would change the dynamic of Townsville forever. In his dingy prison cell, Mojo Jojo collected snips, snails, and even a puppy dog's tail. Let's see now. Snips and snails and a puppy dog tail. He needed one more thing to create his evil minions, Chemical X. He glanced around and spotted the contaminated toilet in his cell. With a mischievous grin, he flushed the toilet, causing a huge explosion of toilet water that nearly drowned him. But when the water cleared, Mojo Jojo's eyes widened in astonishment. Floating before him were three mischievous figures, Brick, Boomer, and Butch, the Rowdy Rough Boys. Mojo Jojo's heart swelled with pride as he welcomed his new creations. However, the Rowdy Rough Boys were not satisfied. They warned Mojo Jojo of a potential confrontation. <laughs> But he swiftly shifted their focus towards their true adversaries, the Powerpuff Girls. Mojo Jojo assured them he would guide them to triumph. The next day, as the Powerpuff Girls were busy fighting a giant octopus monster, the Rowdy Rough Boys swooped in for a surprise attack. The girls were caught off guard, but they weren't about to let some rowdy boys ruin their day. The two trios clashed in an epic battle, fists flying, and special attacks unleashed. The Rowdy Rough Boys played dirty, hurling ships, buses, and even a sabotaged aircraft at the girls. But the Powerpuff Girls held their ground, refusing to back down. As the battle raged on, the Rowdy Rough Boys gained the upper hand. With a devious plan, they unleashed toxic fumes that knocked the girls out cold. With a powerful blow, they sent the girls tumbling into the street below, seemingly defeated. Mojo Jojo gloated in his fortress, celebrating with his creations as the people of Townsville mourned the apparent loss of their beloved heroes. But simply as all appeared lost, a miracle happened. 
The tears of the grief-stricken citizens fell on the unconscious Powerpuff Girls, waking them up from their defeat. Ashamed of their loss, the girls prepared to leave Townsville for good. But Miss Bellum, the brainy secretary, had a different idea. She urged the girls to try a new approach. Instead of fighting fire with fire, they should try being nice. With Miss Bellum's advice in mind, We don't want new superheroes. We love you. The Powerpuff Girls returned to Mojo Jojo's lair, ready for round two. But this time, they didn't throw punches. Instead, they used their charm and flirtatious looks to confuse the Rowdy Rough Boys. The boys were taken aback by the sudden change in tactics. The Powerpuff Girls each planted a kiss on their cheeks. Disgusted and horrified, the Rowdy Rough Boys exploded into their base components, defeated once and for all. With the Rowdy Rough Boys gone, Mojo Jojo was arrested once again, and Townsville was safe from his evil schemes. The Powerpuff Girls reflected on the power of kindness as they flew off into the sunset, ready for the next adventure. The Boys Are Back in Town, Episode 15, Season 5 In the episode, The Boys Are Back in Town, the Rowdy Rough Boys made their second official appearance. As the Powerpuff Girls, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup were enjoying a peaceful day, little did they know that trouble was brewing beneath their feet. At the same time, in his dark and eerie lair, him was hatching a devious plan. He had been secretly watching videos of the Powerpuff Girls defeating villains, and an evil grin spread across his face as he saw something that sparked an idea. All the years, and all the villains have produced nothing! The next day, as the Powerpuff Girls were out fighting monsters, a huge outcropping emerged from the ground. To their shock and disbelief, standing atop it were the Rowdy Rough Boys, Brick, Boomer, and Butch. The girls couldn't believe their eyes. They had defeated the boys before, so how were they back? The boys strutted with their new hairstyles, but the girls wasted no time in mocking them. Insults flew like punches as they were prepared to battle once again. The fight was on. Blossom squared off against Brick, Bubbles faced Boomer, and Buttercup took on Butch. How can we defeat their scary new hairdos? The air crackled with energy as they clashed, but this time, something was different. The boys were holding their own. As the battle raged on, Blossom had a brilliant idea. She suggested using the same strategy that had worked before, showing affection by kissing the boys. But to their horror, the girls soon realized that the boys were actually feeding on their affection, growing bigger and more powerful with each kiss. Suddenly, him appeared, revealing that he had given the boys a cootie vaccination, making them immune to the girls' kisses. With a wicked laugh, he left the girls intimidated and outmatched. The boys, now ten times their normal size, began to gross out the girls with their antics, cracking knuckles, picking scabs, and spitting. Then they launched a brutal attack. So good to see you again. How's things? Not so good. Leaving the girls battered and bruised, and even squashing them into a hockey puck. Buttercup, refusing to give up, rallied her sisters as they made their escape to the top of a nearby building. But as they stood there, bruised and broken, Blossom felt defeated. She believed they had finally met their match. This infuriated Buttercup. She still believed that they could defeat the boys, and she wasn't about to give up now. With a fiery determination, she insulted the boys and goaded them into another round of fighting. As the boys spotted the girls on top of the building, the ultimate showdown began. Ultimate fight! A montage of epic battles ensued, but despite their best efforts, the girls were completely overwhelmed. The boys laughed evilly as they looked down on their defeated foes. We gotta hide! Hide? Are you- Shh! They'll hear you! But then, Buttercup spotted Butch teasing Bubbles and sticking his tongue out. Fueled by rage, she swooped in and made him bite his tongue, causing him to shrink in embarrassment. Blossom quickly realized the boy's vulnerability and came up with a plan to exploit it. The girls unleashed a barrage of embarrassing tactics, babying the boys, putting makeup on them, and even pulling down their pants. With each humiliation, the boys shrank smaller and smaller, until they were nothing more than tiny specks. Having turned the tables on their adversaries, the Powerpuff Girls stood victorious once again. But their victory was short-lived as him appeared once more, scolding the boys for their failure and making them disappear. As he vanished into the shadows, he warned the girls that the boys would be back. But for now, Townsville was safe, thanks to the heroic efforts of the Powerpuff Girls. And so, another epic battle came to an end in the never-ending saga of Townsville's bravest heroes, the Powerpuff. 
Powerpuff Girls. It was a lucky victory and you know it! In time, you will fall! Boy Toys, Episode 20, Season 5. In their third appearance in the episode Boy Toys, the Rowdy Rough Boys caused chaos in the bustling city of Townsville. A traffic jam had Princess Morbucks stuck in her fancy limo. As she peeked out of the window to see what was causing the holdup, she was surprised to find none other than the Powerpuff Girls duking it out with someone. But wait, who's that? It's the Rowdy Rough Boys crashing into Morbucks' limo and zooming off again. Morbucks, being the sneaky little princess she is, gets an idea. She quickly changes into her evil gear and rushes to the scene, where the Powerpuff Girls are ready to pounce on the Rowdy Rough Boys. But Morbucks stops them in their tracks with a mischievous grin and asks to join the boys. To her dismay, the Rowdy Rough Boys reject her, calling her a lame sissy baby girl and boasting that boys can do better than girls. Ouch. Brick, the leader of the Rowdy Rough Boys, even kicks her over to where the girls are sprawled out from the crash. Anything a stupid girl can do, boys can do better. Watch! <laughs> Morbucks, now in tears, spills the beans to the Powerpuff Girls about what the boys said. And oh boy does she make them angry, by making up even more nasty stuff the boys supposedly said about them. With the girls fuming mad, Morbucks hatches a plan. She leads them to a secret warehouse filled with weapons designed to destroy the Powerpuff Girls. There's an army tank with a supersonic blast gun, a plane with scatter bombs, and a boat with a molecular electronic destructor. Morbucks offers the weapons to the girls if they make her one of them. Buttercup and Bubbles aren't buying it, but Blossom, always the curious one, is intrigued by the shiny plane. She agrees to let Morbucks be a Powerpuff Girl, but only until they beat the Rowdy Rough Boys. The scene shifts to the Rowdy Rough Boys causing mischief in a fish market, snatching burgers left and right. They're about to hit up a video game store when they're interrupted by the Powerpuff Girls and Morbucks. A super ionic blast gun, multiple antimatter scatter bombs, and a molecular electronic disruptor! Each piloting a weaponized vehicle. Blossom's flying the plane, Buttercup's in the tank, and Bubbles is steering the boat. They all fire on Morbucks' command. They intentionally miss the boys. Talk about a plot twist. Now it's the boys' turn to get excited as they swoop in and take control of the girls' vehicles. A chaotic battle ensues, with bombs flying and vehicles crashing left and right. In the end, all three Rowdy Rough Boys and the Powerpuff Girls are lying amidst the wreckage, laughing like maniacs. But their laughter is short-lived as they realize they're all paralyzed from their love of destruction. The girls land on the pier triumphant in their victory. Blossom proudly declares herself the mastermind behind the plan, much to Morbucks' annoyance. Amidst the chaos, the Powerpuff Girls fly away, leaving Morbucks behind, still fuming over how they acted in the battle. And so, another day in Townsville ends with a lesson learned. Teamwork triumphs over trickery, and the true heroes don't need weapons to save the day. Oh yeah, we're the Power Rangers. We can do anything. City of Clipsville, Episode 22, Season 5 In the world of the Powerpuff Girls, there's an episode called City of Clipsville that's like a trip down memory lane, but with a twist. The Powerpuff Girls are having flashbacks to all sorts of crazy stuff, including the time they magically aged into teenagers in the blink of an eye. And guess who else aged up? Yep, those mischievous Rowdy Rough Boys. Now, normally, the Rowdy Rough Boys are the epitome of troublemakers, but in this episode, they've kind of toned down in their rowdiness. They're more like slacker teens who could care less about causing chaos. Butch, one of the boys, even rolls up in a fancy ride, an Escalade. But get this, Buttercup, in her teenage ditziness, mistakes it for an Escalator. Classic mix-up, right? But here's where it gets really interesting. Despite their bad boy reputations, there's some serious sparks flying between the Powerpuff Girls and the Rowdy Rough Boys. Now! And make sure you steal it! Can you believe he's our brother? Yeah, you heard that right. Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup are all crushing on their male counterparts. And the boys? Well, they're not immune to the charm of the super-powered ladies either. Now, why would the creators throw in this romantic twist? Well, it turns out fans had been bombarding Craig McCracken, the mastermind of the show, with letters begging for episodes where the Powerpuff Girls and the Rowdy Rough Boys got paired up as couples. And McCracken, being the awesome creator that he is, decided to give the fans what they wanted. Sort of. So, 
so. City of Clipsville is like a love letter to all those fans who ship the Powerpuff Rowdy Rough romance. It's a fun departure from the usual superhero vs supervillain showdown, adding a whole new layer of drama and excitement to the mix. But hey, let's not get too carried away. Remember, this episode might not be considered canon in the grand scheme of the Powerpuff Girls universe. It's more like a fun little detour into teenage romance land, where anything can happen, even if it involves mistaking a car for an escalator. Boomer, what are you doing? Huh? Bubble Boy, Episode 24, Season 5. In another appearance in the episode Bubble Boy, the Rowdy Rough Boys, Brick, Butch, and Boomer were up to their usual mischief in Townsville. They were causing chaos at a soda machine, with Brick sending Boomer on a candy-stealing mission. Boomer, being the obedient troublemaker, decided to rough up a poor kid for his candy. But surprise, surprise, the Powerpuff Girls led by Bubbles swooped in and gave Boomer a taste of justice. They beat him up and brought him to Professor Utonium's lab, where he got stuck in a weird containment ray thing, wearing nothing but his undies. Realizing that Brick and Butch would suspect something if Boomer didn't show up, the Powerpuff Girls came up with a genius plan. They dressed Bubbles up as Boomer and sent her to hang out with the Rowdy Rough Boys. First stop, Fuzzy Shack. Bubbles, pretending to be Boomer, waltzed in with Fuzzy tied up like a pink furred burrito. Brick and Butch demanded the stolen candy, but Bubbles, in her best tough guy act, said she ate it all and called her brothers a bunch of jerks. The boys just laughed it off. But things got rough for Bubbles when Brick decided to test her spitting skills. Yeah, you heard it right, spitting skills. He challenged Butch and Bubbles to see who could spit down a flying plane. Butch missed, Brick missed, and then came Bubbles' turn. Her spit flew across Townsville, hitting Butch and even the park. Brick admitted she didn't hit the plane, but her spit skills were on fire. He even crowned her the super spitter and complimented her weird but cool vibe. Despite moments where Bubbles almost blew her cover, Everything seemed fine, until Brick punched her again and made her eat a cockroach. Ouch. The radio thingy the Powerpuff Girls and the Professor were using broke, and they saw the real Boomer and the other Rowdy Rough Boys approaching the lab. The Rowdy Rough Boys walked in, saw Boomer trapped in the containment bubble in his undies, and turned around to face Bubbles. Just when it seemed like they were caught, Bubbles turned on the ray, trapping all three Rowdy Rough Boys. Victory dance, right? Wrong! Bubbles tried to show off what she learned by spitting, but her spit hit the ray, and boom, it blew up, setting the boys free. The Powerpuff Girls let them go, promising to deal with them next time. Bubbles apologized to the professor for having to eat a cockroach, but she shrugged it off, saying it tasted like chicken. And so another day in Townsville ended with the Powerpuff Girls outsmarting the Rowdy Rough Boys, proving once again that good triumphs over mischief. I'm sorry you had to eat a cockroach. That's okay, it tasted like chicken. Until next time, of course, Live and Let Dynamo, Episode 6, Season 5. In the Powerpuff Girls episode Live and Let Dynamo, things get a bit nutty with the Rowdy Rough Boys making a surprise appearance. The girls are on a mission to uncover who's pulling the strings behind Dynamo, the mysterious force wreaking havoc. Cue the Rowdy Rough Boys, those troublemakers we all love to hate. They show up in the scene, and it's not your average hello how are you moment. No, no, these boys decide to turn Dynamo into a puppet for some nose picking action. Yeah, you heard right nose picking. As Dynamo goes digging for gold, the Rowdy Rough Boys are losing it, laughing like it's the funniest thing since sliced bread. It's like a chaotic comedy show with these guys as the stars. I mean, who wouldn't crack up seeing a powerful force reduced to nose exploration? But wait. There's more to this nose-picking extravaganza. The Powerpuff Girls, our little heroes, are on the case. They're playing detective, trying to figure out who's the puppet master controlling Dynamo's embarrassing antics. And guess what? The Rowdy Rough Boys are on their suspect list. However, the plot thickens when the girls recall a previous episode, Boy Toys. In that adventure, the Rowdy Rough Boys were head over heels for destruction. But here's the twist. They got paralyzed by their own love for chaos. It's like a love story gone wrong, but with destruction. So the girls put two and two together. If the Rowdy Rough Boys were puppet masters behind Dynamo, they would be too love-struck with destruction to pull off such a nose-picking stunt. It's like a eureka moment for the girls. They rule out the boys as the culprits. In a nutshell, this episode adds a dash of absurdity with nose-picking puppetry, blends in some detective work by the Powerpuff Girls, and keeps us guessing about Dynamo's true puppet master. It's a wild ride of laughs, chaos, and unexpected nose exploration. Just another day in the anime animated world of the Powerpuff Girls. Townsville will be stinky forever! Let's face
face it! Custody Battle, Episode 12, Season 6. In their final appearance in the episode Custody Battle, the sun is shining, the birds are chirping, and Mojo Jojo is enjoying a peaceful day at the park, until he comes face to face with the Rowdy Rough Boys. Yep, those troublemakers are back, and Mojo's jaw hits the ground in shock. He's like, how are you guys alive? The Powerpuff Girls totally zapped you into oblivion. But the boys just laugh in his face and spill the beans. How dare you talk to your father that way? Father? It turns out that Sneaky Him brought them back to life and gave them all a power-up, all while fixing Mojo's mistakes. Ouch, talk about rubbing salt in the wound. Mojo's not one to take this lying down, though. He starts arguing with him, each one trying to prove they're the eviler father figure to the rowdy rough rascals. It's like a playground showdown. Things escalate quickly, with Mojo and him pulling out all the stops to show off their villainous chops. Curses! And now, my dear boys, I will show you just how evil I They're harassing the mayor, causing chaos left and right, and generally making a mess of Townsville. But guess what? The Rowdy Rough Boys are so over it. They're like, we do not care about your stupid arguments. The only thing we want to do is destroy the Powerpuff Girls. Like, duh. And with that, they zoom off into the sky, leaving Mojo and him in shock. But instead of being mad, Mojo and him are crying tears of joy. They're all like, our boys are developing so fast. They're off to wreak havoc on Townsville, just like we taught them. It's a real tearjerker moment as they bond over their shared pride in their little terrors. And so, with Mojo and him happily united in evil, the day is officially doomed. Thanks a lot, Rowdy Rough Boys. Let's go! The legacy of the Rowdy Rough Boys as iconic antagonists in the Powerpuff Girls series is deeply entrenched in the realm of animated television. Since their introduction, these characters have left an incredible mark on popular culture, shaping the narrative landscape of Townsville and beyond. Moreover, the Rowdy Rough Boys have contributed to the richness of the show's lore, expanding the universe of the Powerpuff Girls with their unique origin story and dynamic interactions with other characters. Their creation by Mojo Jojo using Chemical X and their subsequent clashes with the Powerpuff Girls have become iconic elements of the series' mythology. Beyond their fictional world, the Rowdy Rough Boys have had a lasting impact on merchandise, spin-off media, and fan culture. Their popularity has led to the production of toys and other merchandise featuring their likeness, appealing to fans of all ages who are drawn to their rebellious charm. Furthermore, despite controversy surrounding their characters, the Rowdy Rough Boys remain enduring symbols of villainy and mischief in the world of animation. Their legacy continues to resonate with audiences, serving as a testament to their enduring appeal and significance within the cultural landscape of animated television. I guess we'll just have to serve it up. As the dust settles and the echoes of battle fade away, the story of the Rowdy Rough Boys and the Powerpuff Girls comes to a close. Throughout their tumultuous journey, we've witnessed epic battles, unexpected alliances, and the unbreakable bonds of sisterhood. From their chaotic creation to their daring escapades, the Rowdy Rough Boys have left an indelible mark on the city of Townsville, challenging the very fabric of good and evil. But amidst the chaos and destruction, a deeper truth emerges. The Powerpuff girls' unwavering determination and resilience. In the face of overwhelming odds, they have stood firm. We better take this fight out of Townsville before some innocent people get hurt! Facing each challenge with courage and compassion. Through their trials and tribulations, they have grown not only as heroes, but as individuals, learning valuable lessons about friendship, loyalty, and the power of love. And so, as the sun sets over Townsville, a sense of peace descends upon the city once more. The Powerpuff Girls may have emerged victorious in their battles against the Rowdy Rough Boys, but their journey is far from over. New adventures await, new villains lurk in the shadows, but with their unwavering spirit and unbreakable bond, the Powerpuff Girls are ready to face whatever challenges come their way, ensuring that Townsville remains safe for generations to come. Which character of the Rowdy Rough Boys do you like the most? Let us know in the comments section. <laughs> yeah, dude! <laughs> Word! Now let's finish those sissies!